Okay, uh, before I get into the code here, I just want to give some credit to a uh, couple of people. Um, one is Josh Kopel, who is at a big magnet dot blogspot dot com and he had PID code posted and I used his PID code um, in my Arduino sketch um, I know there's some Arduino libraries out there for PID <clears throat> I know there's one for sure um, I just liked this better because I liked it all in line in my in my code and um, I could see all the variables, I could see the math. I guess I just I just liked it better. And uh, so that's what I used. So thank you, Josh Kopel, for that. He has some other very interesting things um, about PID, positioning control on. Uh, I used some other code from DIY Drones, and I don't remember who it was. Um, there's several articles and bits and pieces in forums on DIY drones about interfacing the radio control receiver to the Arduino and reading the pulse ins and all that and there's I can't remember who it was um, and then Robot Power they just came out with the Megamoto shield for the Arduino that can stack uh, three high so you can have three motors um, each each shield controls one motor um, or two motors in one direction only. Uh, anyway, so that that was a key part for me because this will take 24 volts in, and my whole robot is 24 volts, and uh, my linear actuator is 24 volts, and a bunch of the bigger motors that I want to turn into servos are 24 volts. And these guys got a 24 volt motor controller that stacks right on the Arduino, and that's really cool. And I'm glad they made it. Okay. It. Okay, so the code. I've got it. Uh, I've got it running here. Along the left column is the raw value of the uh, stick position on the radio. Okay, and then it's scaled to the second column. It has to be uh, using the map command. You have to scale the value on the left that is on the left to values between 0 and 1023 so that's what that's what the second column represents is the value between 0 and 1023 then there's a r and an f in the in the third column that's forward to reverse and then uh, and then you've got the uh, the amount that the motor is going to be moved B, which is being sent to the uh, to the Megamoto, and that's the fourth column of values there. Okay, the the K, P, K, I, and K, D values uh, are what you use to tune the PID algorithm. Okay, those values you have to set, and the top one, the K, P, is probably the most important, and that controls how aggressively the uh, servo tries to find its position. Uh, if you set it set it to like uh, one or two, it's, the servo is going to move very slowly to position, but it'll be very accurate and very smooth. The Ki um, different values between 0 .05 and 10. Kd I didn't change at all. Um, so anyway, those PID those PID variables uh, you're going to need to tune. The other thing you're going to need to tune when you get this code is this this minimum and maximum for the RC0 scaled value now you find the you find this 91 here by moving the trim and the stick on the radio all the way you move these all the way to the left and that gives you your low and you remember to move the stick and the trim that gives you the, the your full uh, range that gives you your low range and then move them all the way to the right both of them and then you get the uh, then you get your high value so I ended up with a 91 and a 201 and then that scaled to 0 to 1023 and then that is what is fed into the PID algorithm and uh, those are the things that you need to know the only other thing you might need to know is you can you can change this if motor speed is less than 20 and don't forget there's two of these um, there's one here for the backward direction and one here for the forward direction. You can change this to a 10, a 5, but it just it just prevents all the chatter 
when you're not sending any signal, any position signal to the servo. Because, you know, you can see here, you can see here it's, it's running and the value in the first column, I'm not touching the radio control, but it's fluctuating between a 146 and a 147. Okay, well that's, that's constantly creating a PID output to the motor. So this motor speed value here, this little if then, this, this just says, hey, you know what? When the value is less than 20, just forget about it. Just set it to zero and, and sit still. And that's why the servo is sitting still and sitting quiet right now um, because of that value. And it's very accurate. It, it, it really doesn't reduce the accuracy that much in my situation anyway. So those are the basics with the code.